and move into sculpting hour here. We can start from the few faces, but I usually like to always start with the sphere or cube. So I'll insert the cube, subdivide it, subdivide it maximum times, so six times, apply it, and go into sculpting mode. I'll firstly use scale tool to make it appear. And when it's appeared, I actually want to make it look like curves. So first we will need to be editing it a bit. It's not a difficult editing option, so we can do it in the sculpting mode. What I'm going to do is use scale again. Let's scale it up and down. Now you can see that it scales from this middle part, which is a bit problem you can use the local scale you can see that the scale works from that point where we created it so it can be a bit hard to control i'll hide the head for a bit make it something like this shape can make it a bit longer let's unhide it and now i'll press g for grab tool can start positioning on the top of the head. Nothing too complicated. Really good tool can be post tool to control the rotation of the parts and just using a bit of the smooth tool. Let's position it something like this. Let's work a bit of the end of the hair. I want it to position to somewhere start where my strands are. If we see some problems with our strands, we should definitely go into the strand mode and try fixing this part. It's very, very important that the strand itself will be working perfectly fine before we start with the, this. Now I'll go back into the sculpting mode and use a bit of crease brush. And just try to line up the sharp line of the hair. Let's do the same on another side. And now I will use a lot of scrape brush. So I'll scrape the top of the hair. You don't have to hurry, so try to not be too impatient and fast forward with this. Take your time. The more time you take, the better it's going to look. Now I'm going to move on the side. We can hide our head to be able to see side a bit more. Let's work on this side as well. So each side and top. Now even at the bottom, I want to make it a bit slimmer. So the bottom itself will not be too much visible, probably not visible at all. We still want quite correct position for here. So I'll, with the a bit smaller radius of the grab brush tool, try to make my hair slimmer. In this area it looks way, way too big. Let's slim it out. Very small movement. No brush. Small brush everywhere. Let's unite our head to see what we got. I think this is quite a good beginning for the hair. I'll make it a bit smaller. And we can go back into object mode and duplicate the object. Try to not move it because we don't want to change that middle point. So just go back into the sculpting mode. And with the grab brush tool, let's carefully adjust its position. You 
can play with the form, play with the positioning. If the strands are blocking, they definitely should have set up another collection. So let's do it now. New collection. On this one, you can call curve here. This one, low poly. Well, let's just say it's low poly. And this one is sculpted. But we have eyes. So, okay. I'll move the hair strands. So, select one and move it to the collection four. You can, when you select the object, you can move its position with M. So, M controls the collections, or you can just drag. So, which one is more comfortable for you? You can, of course, select a few objects and press M and move them together in the collection. I'll actually rename this strand and this one to strand. It will automatically put in the numbers, so I don't worry about numbering for now. And I'll select this one. You can actually hide this part if it's in the way. So I'll select this part, go sculpting mode, and now I can freely hide our curve here. Try to move it into the nice position. What I'm really worried about, not leaving a bald spot on top. Bald spots are usually quite visible, so I really try to take care of that part first. And with the scrap, scrap brush tool, I'll scrape some away. We can unhide our curves and see what's going on. If you can see some of the differences, you can move it carefully. And I think we have quite a nice base for it. Let's go back into object mode. Select this one, shift D again for duplication. And let's go back into the sculpting mode. This one will be on this side. Let's move it to that side. Smaller grab brush tool to get it closer to the head. I'll actually move this part a bit down because we're probably going to be changing it later. And let's position it, the tilt, closer to the head. When I'm done with this part, it's very important to fix the end of the hair. I'll try using a lot of smooth tool to make it smoother. And now is the script. I'll script this side. I guess I want the hair to be tilting. So sometimes you might get a weird errors. So I'll recommend using voxel remesher to fix it. But in my case, I think it's quite fine. What I want to do is probably select this one. If I'll Q again for switching sculpting tools and just grab it a bit down. I'll actually hide this one. Select this one. Maybe hide the head too and lift this part up because it seems like it's embedding in the head, which I don't really want to happen. Very, very small, but good movement. I just want the hair to be following the head shape. So let's quickly draw and show what I mean by that. So it doesn't have to be exactly, exactly what I will show you, but it's important to keep this in mind. So, as you know, our hair 
is moving like this, like an egg shape, right? So I kind of want my hair to replicate that shape. And at this point, it was like moving nice. And this part was down and this one up. It's just weird. So I tried to lift that. I tried to lift this part a bit up. So it goes back to the oval shape. I hope it's not too complicated. And at this point, I see that we lifted our hair a bit too high. So what would be cool with the 3D is I will select everything here. On the strands, I'll move it a bit down. And we will definitely have to go into the sculpting mode. And just try slowly extending these parts. Now, keep in mind that more time you spend on this, the better it's going to look. If you try to rush it, it's not gonna, going to end up looking too good. Let's move this part as well. And it looks much better right now. Let's move it up. And we can go back into duplicating our objects. So I'll select this trend, shift D to duplicate and sculpting mode. This one will be our first on the side here. I'll move it accordingly. Very, again, important to move the corners here to position them better you can use pretty heavily smoothing brush and i think that at this point my mesh is creating quite a few errors so i want to use remesher i don't want to really go above 50,000 for one strand because it can get very laggy very fast so I'll try to keep it at 50,000 12,000 so i'll increase the voxel size and just slowly, slowly grow it till I feel like it's enough. Let's try 40,000 for now. I think it might be enough. Again, extremely important to follow the references. You get everything following that. And not your imagination. I'll use again scrap tool, scrap the side of this. And we have quite a new quite a nice fitting new shape let's go back into object mode i'll save the file just in case duplicate this object again and sculpting mode as always it's quite a big brush to reposition it because we're moving it quite a lot let's move it And almost done with this. Just let's use the grabber's tool to get it closer to the head. Because side here is definitely are not that far from the head. Some scrap brush tool. Scrape, scrape. And it's looking pretty good. I think this one is a bit too far. So I'll use the scrape brush tool on this. 
get it closer to our head. And we can scope this part too. Maybe made this one a bit too big. I'll try to make it smaller. And I'll duplicate this one now. Sculpting mode. For the beginning, this one is too big, so I'll scale it down. Let's move it to the side so we can see what's going on. And what I'm going to do is try to make it a bit more as a line, then heavily try smoothing it. It probably would be easier to make it from new shape instead of trying to create it. But sometimes we're very, very much not thinking about how to make it quicker, just try to power it through. Sometimes it's a better approach, but most of the time not. Okay. Move tool. Let's move it closer to the body. Can use some rotation. And now I think we're set to go in and use grab. Let's try to leave, not leave anything bold. And smooth, of course. We can very lightly use script tool again. And just smooth on top. White, nice. And we just have to do the same for another side. Sometimes I just select this part and use the mirror modifier and just apply it. Go into edit mode. With L I'll select one part and with the P I will separate the selection. This way there's separate objects, but now I can way quicker just change this one. I think I will unbox and remesh this part. So I'll save the file first. And let's use the voxel. 30,000. That's good. It probably will go to 40,000. Okay. And just change the position. And I think at this point we created quite a, a lot, quite a few of them. They look pretty decent from the back, same as from the front, the side. But for now, we have to make strands. We have to make her hair braided as in the concept, which will make it easier to position everything else. So first I'll save the file. 